So I got rebar here. I'm going to cut the rebar down to three foot lengths and then I'll try driving it by hand but I have my um, jackhammer with a cup attachment that I'll use to speed up the process. So I'm going to cut three sections into three and that'll give us enough for doing the uh, doing the beams. So pull this back. Alright, so we'll tighten this down. Nothing like the smell of napalm in the morning. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. That was easy. And then this one here, we're going to put it right in the middle. And yeah, there we go. So this will be our nine pieces. stuff all right so because I'm going through three pieces of uh, four by four so that's gonna be uh, what uh, 11 and a half inches right if my math is right so you got a uh, what three and a half three and a half is seven no ten and a half inches so I got this uh, 15 inch I think it's 15, maybe it's 16 inches. Uh, this is actually a wire puller. It's a speed bore by uh, Irwin. And uh, it's a half inch, which I tried 5 8 and 5 8 had a little bit too much play. So I'm hoping that this uh, half inch is just perfect. I think it will be. So I got my handy dandy utility scissors here. And this uh, speed bore has a uh, has threads in the uh, top that'll uh, that'll actually pull into the wood. So yeah, you can see that's the the part right there that'll suck it into the wood. Just tear it right out. And then I got my drill. All right, but we gotta get set up. All right, so I got my bit. I got my battery that's fully charged and ready to go here. And I figure we'll do it like right about here and then I'll get the cup and see if this is a good spot. But, uh, we don't want it to bind up, so I'll keep pulling it out. I've had that happen too many times. Oh, we are through. Yeah, boy. All right, we're just gonna see, because I don't want to get to the point where I can't get it out. Let's see if this works. Or 
worst case I gotta cut it off at the bottom there, right? Okay, that's a lot of hammering. Alright, so I got my uh, TR Industrial here. This will work with my jackhammer. My jackhammer is also a TR Industrial. This is a uh, ground rod puncher dude. Gonna puncher in. So we're gonna hook this up to the uh, to the jackhammer, and then we'll get her going. So I got my TR Industrial. See it right there, TR Industrial. Whoa. It's my jackhammer. It's a 120 volt jackhammer. Boy, oh, what was that? What did I just lose? Nope, I can't stand off for this. Okay. So now we need our extension cord. The extension cord that I got here is a rigid extension cord. I bought it because I needed it to be hefty enough to power the uh, the jackhammer. I got a feeling that once I start this, it's just gonna fly right in. So what I like about this jackhammer, it's got a really long cord, so if you're running out of extension cord, you can do this. It's another reason to keep these to three feet, so I don't have to lift it up any higher. It's already going to be a beast to lift it up as high as I have to. So this is the cup. So we'll have to hammer it down like a little bit more. All right, so this will pop into the the tool slot here into the jackhammer. So then you pull this out. Back like that. All right, let's we'll see what happens here. Oh my god, bro! Let's get the cord out of the way. Whew. Let's see how quickly this thing goes in. Come on. Why is it not working? Okay, this is a problem. Check oil. Good with oil. Stops working, what do you do? All right, 
right, so doing something wrong with this guy. But we got him in. Drill right about here. Hopefully this next one goes in easier. On our hammer. Okay, just get it started. Leave our hammer down here because we'll need it. So whenever I use a tool, there's always some issue. So there's something I don't understand about this, but I did get some oil. So I'm gonna lube up this uh, this rod driver. <laughs> he said rod driver. <sighs> So this guy here, put a little bit of lube, just machine oil, that's all it is. Just in case, that's why it's acting funny. Okay, so we insert the tool. Wrong way, this way. Okay. Don't know, let's see. Okay, I need to plug it in. Very long cord. I think it might be uh, at least 12 feet, could be 16 feet. That'll be helpful because my extension cord is a 100 foot cord, but from the outlet it doesn't go too far. <clears throat> like it. Rotate the stop lever 180 degrees clockwise while pulling toward you. Insert the chisel. Rotate the stop lever 180 degrees counterclockwise back to its original position. I don't know what the original position is. Jackhammer loses striking power. Okay. No, that's not the issue. Jackhammer only vibrates but does not strike. Oh, right, there we go. Hex shank is not inserted all the way into the jackhammer. Ooh. Thick oil buildup at the seal of the strike hammer. So I don't know what the original position is. They do not make it clear in the men will. <laughs>
Okay. Here we go. So now I'm wondering if the strike hammer isn't coming out all the way. Need a hammer for the hammer. Oh, we might be someplace now. Let's see what that looks like now. Okay. So now I'll rotate this 180, like they said to do. Hopefully this works. I just did it again. Dude! That is fantastic. Okay, I figured out the issue. It was jamming up in there. But man, I will take this any day over that other stuff. Oh yeah. Any day over doing that by hand. Can you imagine doing that stuff by hand? It would be insane. You see how quickly that thing went in once I got it figured out? Okay, we're going in the end here. Yo, so this thing is magic. Drill next hole. Uh, where's my drill? Over here. Yeah, buddy. All right, so now we need to do these middle ones. We'll get up close and personal in this one. I do need to push that board in. So, let's see here. Can I hammer it and inspect it to move? <laughs> Here we go. It is now flush. All right, let's get our cameras to point down right here. All right, so we'll put, there's a crack right there, so I'm gonna try to avoid that crack. Uh, like maybe right here. Oh yeah, you know what, we could do it right up. Come back, do it right here. In case I wanna strap it. Okay. 
get one of our boards or nope I need to get the piece of rebar I cut Come on. All right, now that we got it started, put the hammer over there. Did I say this was heavy? It's got an adjustable thingy here. Okay. This wicked chisel. Alright, I'm loving it. I am loving it. You saw how long it was taking me to hit it with a hammer. This was just cake. So now, get another up close and personal shot here. This is a great, great drill bit. I'm loving it. All right, I located my hammer nearby to make it easier. Kind of like all the tools are in the same spot, ready to go. How long would this take me? Let's uh, get a tape measure. So we're at 39 inches. Let's make it 38. Thirty-eight and a half. It's close. It's 38 right there. All right, so we'll be somewhat scientific. You got, you know how much time is going by on the camera. But okay. Here we go. So we'll go a couple more. It's because I wasn't sure if it's. So now we were at 38 inches in one minute. One minute I drove it eight inches. Well, uh, you can do it by hand or you can do it with the TR Industrial jackhammer with the rod driver attachment. <laughs> now, can I do this with one hand so I can get it on video? <sighs> okay, so. Yeah, this thing is wicked. Yeah, buddy. TR Industrial with the rod driving attachment. Yeah, boy. 
driving rebar. All right, so now we'll move this down to the next one. Oh yeah. Alright, hammer down there. Dude, that is so awesome. Whew, yes sir.